Hi, this is Mrs. Clark, and welcome to my video on function notation. So we've just started learning about functions, but now we're going to learn about this notation that has to do with functions. So here we have function of input equals output. Or if we start into the mathematical notation, function parentheses input equals output. If we go a little further into mathematical notation, we have function, which we have our f right here, input, which we represent as x, equals output. So we can take these words that we know, these vocabulary terms, function, input, output, and we can use even parentheses to represent the different pieces. So function of input, so of is our parentheses, which is our multiplying, we talked about that, um, equals output. So the way we read this notation here is f of x equals y. So because it's f parentheses x, that is pronounced f of x, and then equals y. So when you're trying to read this out loud or when I'm saying it out loud in class, that is what I will be saying. If the function is an f function, then we replace that here. Now, a function could be named G or H or W or any letter that we want. Um, so we would just replace that here and call it W of X equals whatever. So it doesn't necessarily mean that Y is going to be the variable here. But this Y over here means that whatever is on this side of the function is our actual relationship that we use X to determine the output. So we're going to actually do that and we're going to create an input and an output table using this function that we have down here. So down here at the bottom of our page, we have, or the middle of our page, we have f of x equals 4x minus 9. So this function we're going to use with different inputs that we're going to be given in order to create this input-output table. So we're going to do that down here. Use your function to find the following, then write your answers in the table above. So if we look here, we have this f parentheses, 0 parentheses. So what this means is that 0 is going to be our input. See how 0 used to be an x and it's now replaced with a 0? That's going to hint to us that we need to replace x with 0. So replace x with 0. So we're going to substitute in to our equation on this side a zero where I see an X because this side was already replaced with a zero. So I'm going to continue that notation here. F parentheses zero or F of zero equals four. When I get to my X, I'm going to use a parentheses and I'm going to substitute in a zero minus nine to complete our notation. So we basically just rewritten this function notation equation and replaced both X's with a zero. And so this side, this f of 0, this is just going to be my notation. I'm going to kind of carry it along with me, and it's going to tell me when I put 0 in for x, I'm going to get out my output. So f of 0 is equal to the output that I get when 0 is my input. So on the right side, I'm going to evaluate this, and I'm going to actually do my order of operations and simplify it down. So 4 parentheses 0 minus 9 I'm going to do 4 times 0, which is 0. I'm going to subtract 9, 0 minus 9. f of 0 equals 0 minus 9, which is negative 9. So that means when a 0 goes into the function, negative 9 comes out of the function. So I can also represent this using a set of ordered pairs. Now, this wasn't asked of me in these directions, but this will help me understand what it is that I've done. When a 0 was my input, negative 9 was my output, so we get that ordered pair out. That's also going to help me to fill in my input-output table up here. I know that when my input is 0, my output is negative 9. So I've got one ordered pair that I have used substitution in my function, figured out the output, and now put them into my tables. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other inputs that we're given. So over here I have f of 1, which means my next input is 1, so I'm going to replace my x with a 1, and I'm going to evaluate. I'm going to continue bringing along that notation, f of 1 
equals 4 times 1, which is 4, minus 9. f of 1 equals 4 minus 9, which is negative 5. So if I were to write my ordered pair, it would be 1, comma, negative 5. Input of 1, output of negative 5, and I can add that one into my table as well. Now I've got two more to do that are just like the same ones that we just did. We have f of 2, so we're going to fill in four parentheses, two minus nine, bring down my notation because that's going to be part of my criterion C grade showing how to use this function notation and carry it along with me each time. Four times two is eight. Eight minus nine is one, negative one. So F of two equals negative one, which means when a two goes in, that's my input and negative one comes out. That is my output. So I can write my ordered pair two negative one and fill in my table. If you feel like you have this, feel free to pause it and try the last one on your own just to check and make sure you're doing it correctly. All right, last one. F of three, I'm gonna do four parentheses three minus nine, bring down my F of three equals four times three, which is 12 minus nine. F of three equals 12 minus nine, which is three. So when an input of three goes in, and output comes out the same, 3, 3. And that's my last ordered pair, 3, 3, for the table. Now, this last question here is a little bit different. So in this last question, I'm going to be asking you a slightly different question, but still using that same function notation. We have, if you notice down here, f of x equals 27. So the 27 is over here, and it's not in place of the x. So when I'm looking at my equation, which is up here, I'm going to use the same equation. I'm going to actually copy it down underneath here so I don't have to keep going back up there. f of x equals 4x minus 9. When I look here, since the 27 is over here, it's in the same place as the y was up here at the very beginning. f of x equals y, which means our 27 is actually our output. So I'm going to replace this whole side where this f of x is with a 27. And that's going to be equal to 4x minus 9. I'm trying to find the value of x, which means I need to know x equals what. Which means now that I have made this equation, 4 times something minus 9 gives me an output of 27. I can use my inverse operations that we learned in our last unit in order to solve this equation for x. So I'm gonna, here's my x, I'm gonna look at what's happening. I've got a four in front, four is being multiplied, and then I've got this minus nine. I'm gonna start with the farthest away. Minus nine, the inverse of minus nine is gonna be plus nine. So I'm gonna do that on both sides of the equal sign. Those nines are gone. 27 plus nine is 36 equals four x. Four times x, my inverse is gonna be divide by four. 36 divided by 4 is 9, so 9 is equal to x. So that means if I were to write my ordered pair, 9 is going into the function and 27 is coming out of the function. So the difference here is we started with the output, worked our way backward to the input. So you might get problems that give you the input where you have to figure it out, figure out the output, or you might get the reverse where you have the output and figure out the input going to be important for you to be able to tell the difference between these two. And so this page is going to go in your notebook on your first function notation page, but then we're going to do a quick color coding um, note page that just gives a little bit more in depth about the difference between these two types of problems, these ones at the top and these ones at the bottom. So you're going to need whatever you're writing in, your pen, your pencil, whatever, and also just two other colors. So either grab quickly marker, colored pencil, um, or anything you have, highlighter that is two colors.